We just got the M3 six months ago, but that's already old news as Apple is now preparing for the M4. Let's talk about it. First, when and what is the M4? Well, the M4 is expected to have a major focus on AI this time around. Apple's expected to make some big AI announcements at WWDC 2024, and the M4 chip will feature a faster neural engine to allow for those AI features to work faster. The M4 chip will also get a faster CPU and GPU based on the A18 and A18 Pro coming to the iPhone 16. For what chips we're getting, the M1 and M2 family has four chips, the M3 family has three chips, but the M4 family could have up to five chips. There are three lines of chips Apple is testing. Donin is the standard M4 chip. Brava is both of the Pro-level chips, M4 Pro and M4 Max. And Hydra is the highest end of the lineup, with M4 Ultra and perhaps a chip even higher end than that. But we'll dive deeper into that later. The first of these chips is expected to arrive as early as the end of this year, only a year after the M3 family was announced. The first Mac to get the M4 is the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro has been the shining star for Apple Silicon, and every generation since the M1, we've always started their generation with a new MacBook Pro, and this time is no exception. The 14-inch MacBook Pro will be updated with the base M4 chip right at the start of the M4 generation. Then the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro will both be upgraded with the new M4 Pro and M4 Max Brava chips. The design of all of these machines will remain the same as the next major overhauls for the MacBook Pro will be with OLED displays and even touch displays. But those won't come until 2025 to 2027 at the earliest. All of the M4 machines will arrive as early as the fall of this year or early next year. Next, the 24-inch iMac. The iMac was last redesigned with the M1 chip three years ago in 2021. Then it remained untouched for two and a half years until it was updated with the M3 chip just this past fall, as it skipped the M2 generation entirely. But it looks like this time around, it will be upgraded with the M4 generation. And not only will it be getting the M4 generation, it'll actually be one of the first Macs to get the M4. The updated iMac is expected to come around the same time as the upgraded MacBook Pros we just talked about, which means the iMac looks to finally be moving back to its annual upgrade cycle. Again, the design here will remain the same, but there may be more coming to the iMac with the M4 as well. More on that later. Next, the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini was last upgraded with the M2 and M2 Pro in January of 2023, and it looks like the Mac Mini may actually skip the M3 generation entirely and move straight to the M4 generation with the M4 and M4 Pro. This could be because the M3 Pro chip that would presumably power an M3-powered Mac Mini would actually feature some downgrades compared to the M2 Pro chip in the current high-end Mac Mini. So Apple would want to skip the M3 series altogether and bring M4 and M4 Pro to the Mac Mini instead. And just like the iMac and MacBook Pro, the Mac Mini is expected to be one of the first M4 Macs, again coming as early as the end of this year. The design for the Mac Mini is expected to remain the same as it has been since 2010. This is because many things like rack units are optimized for the current design of the Mac Mini, so changing the design would interfere with that. Next, the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air just got its M3 refresh last month, so it won't be getting updated with the M4 series until early next year in 2025. The MacBook Air is expected to, of course, get the base M4 chip that will power that 14-inch MacBook Pro, iMac, and Mac Mini we just talked about, and the design will once again remain the same as it has been since 2022. In the future, the MacBook Air may get the same mini LED tech that's currently in the MacBook Pro, but that won't happen until the MacBook Pro moves to OLED first. 
For now, the MacBook Air will remain with the same current design for many years to come. Okay, now time to talk about the Macs powered by the Hydra series of M4 chips, starting with the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio got updated with the M2 Max and M2 Ultra last June, and we could still see the Mac Studio upgraded with the M3 Max and M3 Ultra later this year. But there is a major hardware change with the M3 Max chip that could affect the M3 Ultra. The M3 Max lacks the Ultra Fusion interconnect that allowed Apple to connect two Max chips to create the Ultra chip. This could be due to one of two things. One is that the M3 Ultra isn't happening and Apple is just going to wait for the M4 Ultra that we'll talk about in just a moment. Or two is that the M3 Ultra is its own separate chip that isn't two Max chips connected together. There is a rumor going around that the M3 Ultra will remove the efficiency cores and exclusively have performance cores in its CPU. But if that's going to be the case for the M3 Ultra, it'll most likely also be the case for the M4 Ultra as well, as the M4 Ultra and this other chip, which we'll talk about in a moment, have separate code names from the M4 Max. Anyway, the Mac Studio will be powered by the M4 Max that will be in the MacBook Pro we just talked about, and the new M4 Ultra. This new M4 Mac Studio is expected to come around the middle of 2025. As for the M3 Max and M3 Ultra Mac Studio, again, we're not even 100% sure they'll even be a thing, but if it is, then a release for it should be around sometime within the next few months, maybe even at WWDC 2024. And now the Mac Pro. The Mac Pro just got its first update in over four years last year with the M2 Ultra chip. The 2023 Mac Pro was met with a lot of controversy as it was the exact same power as the Mac Studio with M2 Ultra, but it just had PCIe slots and a $3,000 higher price. If the Mac Studio does get the M3 Ultra chip, then the Mac Pro will certainly get the M3 Ultra chip as well. But as for the M4 Mac Pro, Apple may finally make it worth the extra money, because Apple looks to be testing a super high-end chip for the Mac Pro, potentially called the M4 Extreme. This chip is expected to be two M4 Ultra die connected together, and this chip will feature some insane specs, such as the fact that it can have up to 512 gigabytes of unified memory. That's over two and a half times higher than the current highest 192 gigs of unified memory in the M2 Ultra. This M4 Extreme chip will be reserved for the Mac Pro and it'll finally give the Apple Silicon Mac Pro a proper spot in Apple's lineup. This machine could be announced the same time as the M4 Mac Studio we just talked about, but it will be released a bit later. And finally, here is a bonus Mac that could arrive with the M4 generation, a larger iMac. Apple themselves said that a 27-inch iMac with Apple Silicon isn't coming, but a 27-inch iMac isn't what we've been hearing about. We've been hearing for many years that Apple's working on a new 32-inch Pro-level iMac with a mini LED display. This machine is expected to arrive potentially in 2025, which would line up with the M4 generation. Unless this thing comes out later in 2025 with the presumed M5 generation. The 32-inch iMac has been internally called iMac Pro, just like the long discontinued 2017 iMac Pro. So that could be the launch name for it. We've also heard that Face ID has been in testing for this iMac, but it's unsure if it'll come to fruition. If this iMac Pro does come true, then it'll most likely feature the M4 Pro and M4 Max chips from the upcoming MacBook Pro. No M4 Ultra or M4 Extreme from the Mac Studio and the Mac Pro. We've not heard about this machine in a while, but it could still be happening, and it could be happening with this M4 generation. So that's what we know about the M4 Series Max. The Mac lineup is sure to see a major overhaul with these new series of chips. Will you be waiting for an M4 Mac? And if so, which one? Let me know in the comments.